in, in the next slide, we'll be discussing about the same, but these are coming from the industrial people, you know. And they have some reduced number of steps, uh, but uh, I, I just try to um, um, highlight uh, two important steps here. Uh, that is a little bit different than what the academic people came up with. If we read through these steps, you will find that there are a lot of overlaps. For example, the business understanding, data understanding, data preparation, modeling, evaluation, and deployment. Okay, one of the uh, models that is referenced in this textbook is what you call CRISP DM KD process. So this, if you look at the the diagram, you will understand uh, what is the structure of. Uh, so everything starts so here we have a like a directed um, uh, diagram and uh, the the first step is the uh, business understanding so we have to first ask some uh, business question and try to get some feedback from the people who are actually uh, expert in that uh, that domain you know or that field and that matches with the first step of the the previous uh, model and then this business understanding will lead you to data understanding. You know? So this is a, a cyclic process, you know. So we have to have continuous eng engagement with uh, the business problem. Once we do a few iterations, that will lead a more clear uh, data understanding. And then once we are convinced that, okay, we have some understanding of, about the data, then you kick in your data preparation, you know, because you are preparing the data that the, the model will use as an input. And then once you have your model, uh, you want to have an evaluation step, you know. So how, how good or bad my model is doing, you know. And then you will you will go back to your first processes, processes uh, business understanding, and try to answer that, okay, is this evaluation enough? for my model to be used in real world. And then if not, you will iterate over. Once you are convinced that, okay, now I have a model that actually matches with what my business expectation is, okay? So only at that point, you will deploy the model and will be used by people or maybe like some other processes, you know? One of the important point that uh, the business people will uh, always consider is the evaluation. So you can see that the evaluation and once the model is uh, gone to a certain state, then it will follow the deployment phase so it can be used in real world. Uh, in, so in this um, lecture, we have uh, covered uh, what uh, data mining is uh, formally and what are the uh, different knowledge discovery process models people have studied and what are their formal steps, you know. I think now we have some idea about uh, the uh, data mining uh, definition and uh, some of the steps that the knowledge discovery process models follow. And uh, moving forward, we'll be covering like, some um, specific items and we'll try to connect back to these two very important uh, ideas or concepts. Thank you.